Hello, good day, and welcome back. So today we're going to be talking about the empty interface, and it's exactly what it name says. It's the empty interface, and we're going to see why this interface is important. So I don't have any more slides to show, so let's just jump right in and take a look. So same as before, I've made a copy of our previous project where we started. I'm going to zoom in here a bit, and I'm going to look at the code that we left off with yesterday. And this is what we have. Now, if you remember what we said all the time while we were working on stuff is that with an interface, it sort of acts like a contract. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to leave the implementation of these functions, um, these methods, sorry. And then I'm going to add a um, function here call um, my printer, let's say. And so actually, I don't even need this one. So I'm going to take out this change one. So I'm just going to leave. I'm going to write this function called my printer. And my printer um, accepts uh, any object, so let's call it any object, um, from the interface um, that the, supports the interface printable, All right? Let's call it printable. So we're going to do almost like a little Java naming convention here, sort of. And let's just go back up here, and I'm going to call this interface um, printable. Okay, and anything with the printable interface can be printed, which means you can call a print method uh, on it. Um, actually, let's just call this, let's do what we would do in Go, which is to call it printer, because it has a print method in it. So you can see that string, stringer, read, reader, write, writer. So if the method name is a single interface method, the convention in Go is whatever the name of that one method is in the interface, then the interface just get ER. So this is print, this would be printer. If this was read, it would be reader, write, writer, string, stringer, and the list goes on. And so anyway, so we're going to call this printer interface. And so we're going to say my printer, uh, my printer here, take a printer object. And of course, if it's a printer object, it can certainly call uh, print on it, telling that object, you know, to print itself. And um, so let's go back up here and i'm going to take out most of this stuff because i don't really care about that and certainly don't care about this all right so right now my jane and bob and so on don't haven't they don't implement this interface printer because i could say bob that and I only see it to implement string interface. So I am I want you to implement this print interface or the printer interface. And once it implements the printer interface, I can certainly call um, you know the print method on it once it implements that interface. And so to get it to implement the printer interface, I'm going to go here and say that my I have the print interface which accepts no parameter and returns nothing, and the receiver is a person and so um, this guy knows how to print itself and so it prints itself to stand it out and so that's how my I choose to implement this print method for my printer up for my person object okay and so now we should be able to run this and it will work so if I do go main go run sorry main and I run it, um, of course it does that. So we are going to do a new line here just to get things to show up on another line. And there we go. All right, so it sort of worked and we're talking about here about not implementing interfaces, but rather um, the empty interface, right? Okay, all right. So so that, that's, that, that, that nothing surprising there. I have an interface. I implemented that interface, the method in that interface, and now I'm able to call the method on that on my object, and it works just fine. So the other way to get things printed is to just simply pass them to my printer. So if I say my printer and pass Bob, or I have my printer and I pass Jane, it will work also because Bob and Jane both implement this interface Go is going to look and say, hey, does this object, um, 
does it type implement this interface that is being required by this function? And since they do, then all that print, this is also going to work. And the output is going to be indistinguishable bevel from distinguishable from indistinguishable from the previous one, which you do see here, it's indistinguishable. So this, as we know, is nothing new. So, so far, I haven't done anything new that we haven't learned already, that if you have a function that accept a, a parameter, a certain type, then objects that only objects that are implement that interface, um, if that type is an interface already, if you have a function that accept a type that's an interface, only object that implement that interface can be passed to that function. All right. So what if I wanted to use, um, I wanted to call my printer with other things. So let's do, um, Let's create another interface and we're going to call it type um, doc interface since we have done this before. And for the doc interface, we're going to also um, say that, oh, um, let's call it doc printer, for example. Um, okay, so doc um, can do what we said waddle um, and quack. Right, so that's our doc interface, and um, but but I also want to pass types of I want to pass a doc object to printer to get it printed, right? And so maybe let's do um, and type Indian runner and it's a struct, right? And as a name string and let's leave it as that. So the only thing my doc has is a name for now. And so we said before, if um, we wanted um, my Indian runner to implement um, the same interface here, this print interface, well, it two um, must just be a receiver here. So Indian runner um, and I, and then I that name, right? And so right now my Indian runner implements that interface. And so this two should work if I do this and I pass this here and um, I have a duck, for example, and I'll just make a duck and put it right here. So I'm going to say um, Indian runner um, name, you know, quick. Okay. And so I should expect this to work if I don't have any error messages here and I go over there and I run it and notice it works fine because of course Indian runner implements duck. But here is what I want to be able to do. Um, I want to be able to pass other types that doesn't implement. Now that every, for this printer, I don't want to only pass th things that um, implement the printer interface. So here's an example. Um, I might want to be able to say that you can pass a a, any type object of any type to this interface and maybe once you pass an object of any type I'm going to call fmt that print ln you know or f or whatever for you right and the backup and I want to say Know, the object for example that we get and so on that object um, it's gonna try and print itself and we don't know how that object should be printed um, let's just implement back the string function and this guy is going to return f printf and that should be fine And for the Indian runner, um, we're going to implement um, the string function also. And 
return here as printf as a string formatted as a string and that's fine okay so now both of these implement the string for do not implement the doc interface so now they cannot be passed to this printer right even though um, if you look at it our printer is just going to turn around and call the default print method for that so one of the things we can do is we can have this what it what I'm trying to get at is that I want to be able to pass different types of object I want to be even able to say that you know what um, my printer should be able to print um, five okay or my printer should be able to print a string and so what I'm trying to get at is how do we write a my printer that accept objects of a bunch of very different types so these are types that I've created but these are built-in type string integers how do I get a printer to accept that or even get a printer to accept something like a map so if I say m cool m0 colon equals to make you know uh, you know just do a map of string to float for example or even person and then say that oh we have a map empty map for now um, but you know it could be first person is Jane right and so what if I had this map and I wanted um, my prep person and I wanted um, my printer to also just print that out how can I was the parameter then my question then is what is the correct parameter for this object for this function yeah. what is the correct parameter for this function well there is one and it's called the empty interface so it's interface like this and this empty interface because if you imagine there's two ways to imagine this one is to say I'm gonna specify an interface and I'll have to put in all the possible function in that interface that I can that everything supports to say to this interface those things can be passed to this interface but of course they wouldn't be able to pass this interface unless they implement all the functions that I could specify in this interface face so instead go get around there by doing the empty interface which means that though any type and so you can see all my error messages went away once I specified the empty interface so now all those types are legal type okay too many return value okay no that's not what we want um, so I'm trying to return s printf oh got to be able to do string here Let's see I'm returning a string then properly implement my string stringer interface and so now if I run this as you can see my printer is able to print all those values so that is what I was trying to get to by first trying to illustrate a problem of how do you deal with trying to pass multiple different types of value to a function and then if you look at the signature of fmt that print look at that it's a and that variadic function right you remember we talk about variadic functions um, where it says a da 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 interface empty that's what's telling you right there that this function accept any types that's why even though you have come up with your own new special type person that go line never see before it works because this empty interface accept any type and then Golan tries to do it best with it now we're going to talk about type switching in the next video to see how when I pass to um, my printer here how I can switch on the different types that could be passed in so I could say well if it's an int printed this way if it's a string printed that way if it's a stringer printed this other way uh, you know all those are so we can test what type of object is being passed in right because we can print that out also right we know it or we can print out you know uh, percent t and then of course the value and then we can do that and that's going to give us not o but this and that's going to give us the type and so we can definitely see the different types ah come on Oh, take this out so now we're gonna learn how to we're gonna learn how to switch on those different types so if you notice here 
it's a int a string that information is like last a map of string to main that person and person person and doc so how do we switch make decision on those types so that is going to be in the next video the purpose of this video is to show you the interface and why it's so important it's important because it allows us now to bring a number of different types under the same umbrella does that make sense there's a way to say the empty interface is a way to say i accept any other type all other type can be passed there all right i uh, don't want to make this video again too long so i hopefully that makes sense it was a simple example but the point was to just try and convey the idea okay Take care. See you in the next video. Take care. Bye.